week, Lab TV travels to an Army research lab in Natick, Massachusetts, to meet a food scientist who helps create tasty meals for the troops. The military has a requirement that the food has to last for three years at 80 degrees. Um, it has to provide nutrients for the soldier, as well as being safe. And it actually has to taste good. Soldiers in combat have to eat in tough conditions. And they carry about 80 pounds of gear. They don't have a lot of space for food. So it has to be lightweight and portable. They require the same nutrients that we require, but they probably need it in larger quantities because they're constantly moving, constantly doing their mission. So they exert a lot of energy. Food energy is measured in calories. To get enough energy, soldiers need to eat about 3,600 calories each day. Teenagers eat less, usually between 1,800 and 2,800 calories a day. We try to get less than 30% of the calories from fat, and then the rest will come from protein and carbohydrates. Food calories come from protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Protein and carbohydrates each have four calories per gram, but fat has nine. So to keep fat calories at 30%, you need to check the labels. If a food has 350 calories and 125 are from fat, then that's 28%. One of our continuous missions is to provide variety. So that's why we're constantly developing new items, constantly testing new items in the field with the soldiers. And you know they make the decision exactly what's going to go into the rations. Soldiers' meals are called rations, and they have to be portable. This is the meal ready to eat. It's also known as the MRE, and it's the um, standard operational ration. Um, the soldiers issue three of these a day when they initially get to a site. They have approximately 1,200 calories per menu, giving the uh, soldier approximately 3,600 calories per day. The MRE comes with a entree and a side dish. This one is chicken fajita with a Mexican-style rice. Um, it also comes with a flameless ration heater that when the soldier adds water and puts his pouch in here, he'll heat the food by 100 degrees in 10 minutes. They also get snacks, spreads, and drink mixes. This MRE has mocha cappuccino. Designing these meals takes a long time and a lot of research and testing. When they design the menu, they use nutritional software to make sure that the uh, vitamins, minerals, and calories are meeting a certain uh, level. But when you're developing a food item, that can take anywhere from one to five years some foods, like meat and eggs, grow bacteria and spoil easily. But the troops wanted breakfast foods, so Michelle went to work. They want hot pockets, they want breakfast items. So we looked at different technologies that would stabilize an egg. We manipulate the amount of acid that's in the food. We manipulate how the water is bound in the food. This technology is called hurdle technologies. And every time you put in a, a hurdle, it's less likely that the bacteria will grow. So for this product, the packaging is a hurdle, the use of salt is a hurdle, adding the different acids, um, adding things that will bind water, those are all different hurdles. You have to balance that so that you're not also affecting the flavor. The finished product contains uh, shelf-stable bread, pepperoni, cheese, and egg. We just recently um, had them test it at Fort Polk in uh, Louisiana, and they loved it. And keeping the soldiers happy means a lot to Michelle. For her, creating safe, nutritious, and tasty food is an art. But it also uses a lot of science. Here at Natick, it's, it's very uh, diverse. We have nutritionists, we have food technologists, we have biochemists, chemists, microbiologists. So someone really likes science, this is it. To find out more about food science, nutrition, and calories, check out labtvonline.org.